The mystery of the late Fidel Odinga is yet to be unraveled. This afternoon, President Uhuru Kenyatta would visit his political rival, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, at his family home in Karen, Nairobi. The president was here to condole with the code leader following the death of his son Fidel Odinga on Sunday. The president would give his commitment to have the death thoroughly investigated. Mine is to assure you, my brother, of my support and the support of my government and to assure you that we will do everything that we can together with yourselves to ensure that we establish exactly and precisely what happened to our brother. This we must do. Raila would recall the last moment he spent with his 41-year-old son whose life was cut short after spending a night out with friends. I was sitting with Fidel here on this lawn. And we spent a wonderful two hours together, just me and Fidel. And we had a very wonderful conversation. At the end of our conversation, I invited him to lunch, but he rejected my offer. He said, no, Dad, I have better things to do. I have some friends I'm going to meet. I've got a lunch date with those friends. So he left me alone here to eat lunch with his mother. And that was the last time he saw his son alive, even though they spoke later that evening, a man described by President Uhuru Kenyatta as a personal friend who will be missed. I'm also here to join all of you in mourning somebody who was also my friend. As Raila has said, Fidel had no boundaries. He had friends across the political divide, across the ethnic divide. He knew not the rich or the poor. This is Luam. Luam uh, Odinga, Fidel Odinga. You can see this young, beautiful girl. Fidel knew how to choose them. <laughs> <laughs> She's my darling, a very nice, intelligent and very caring lady, as you see her here. She's mourning, but she has a future, and she must have a future. And, and uh, we are, I'm sure all of you are, are mourning with her, with, with Malwam. Thank you, Luam. Take heart. However, a meeting President Kenyatta planned to have with the late Odinga would never be. He knew and had no boundaries. And I was really looking forward to seeing him because we had planned to meet soon. So we too shall also miss him. This, even as the family confirmed that his body will be laid to rest this coming Saturday at the family cemetery, Kango Kajaramogi, in Bondo Siaya County, which is in his grandfather's homestead. The burial is on Saturday at Bondo. Um, the body lives here on Friday in the morning. The church service, I'm walking backwards. The church service is at All Saints Cathedral um, at 2 o'clock. Joe Aguirre, the family spokesperson, also confirmed that there will be a public viewing ceremony this Wednesday at the Lee Funeral Home and a funeral service at the Old Saints Cathedral in Nairobi on Thursday afternoon, even as leaders called for calm from mourners. The honor he reflected in life, may that honor follow him to his final resting place. So please, even in our pain, let us mourn Fidel honorably. Other leaders, including the chairman of the Royal Media Services, Dr. S.K. Masharia, Marsabit Governor, and a delegation from Kajiado County also joined the Odingas in mourning their son. Life is like this, and it's, it's, it happens to everyone. It's only the time which we don't know. And the best gift we can give to a friend like this is to be with him and to stand by him. The one thing that we must take from Fidel is that we must always know that politics is not an enmity. This time of pain and 
we are praying together that God will going to heal them because this is actually a sad day. Fidel is survived by his widow, an Eritrean, Luamga Kachiu Bekele, and a young son. In life, Fidel Castro Odinga has been eulogized as a friendly and a peaceable person, and in death, his family and friends hope that all his mourners will grant him an honorable and a decent send-off. Alex Kubasu for Monday special in Karen, Nairobi County.